at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to talk about a smartwatch with an amazing display. We're going to talk about a pair of Bluetooth earbuds that have crystal clear audio plus amazing bass. And we're also going to talk about a portable speaker. Yeah, it's an all-in-one right here on the wrist. This thing has a beautiful looking display. It's got earbuds tucked away right in the sides. You can always be ready to listen to your music or take a phone call. It also has a loudspeaker built into it. Yes, people, this thing is the true all-in-one or at least that's what they say. So in this video, I'm doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said smartwatch. After that, I'm going to be putting this bad boy to the Atom Lucas test to figure out is it something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at the Kufwolf version 3, people. I'm super excited about this watch. All right, so it looks like you have a screen protector right here. And then it looks like you get multiple sizes with this uh, the earbuds, so that's really cool. Let's look at the charging cable itself. We always hope it's USB-C. Nope, it is their standard four pin, two magnet setup right here. It's got a decent weight to it. So the last um, few of these that I reviewed were very, very lightweight um, earbud uh, smartwatch combo. Oh, this is looking nice, people. That is, wow, that is a very premium looking display. It almost looks like it might be an AMOLED. Fingers crossed, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and walk around this bad boy real quick. So you got music watch right there. Okay, you got this super textured button right here. It almost looks like a computer chip of some sort. That may be the power button, I'm not sure. Take a look over here. You got music watch once again. Oh, you got another button up here. Same textured um, feel to it. Really interesting texture. It really pulls on your fingerprint grooves. Um, there's the top there. All right, earbuds are flashing. Cool, okay, so those are the buttons right there. Wow, big departure from a normal um, smartwatch. Usually the, there's one button on the side or two buttons on the side. So you got one on the top, one on the bottom. I really like how you have the exposed screws right here. That's really cool. This is definitely made out of some kind of metal right here. And then around the side is plastic, hardened plastic. Let's go ahead and take the strap off. Oh, this is very nice. Okay, so this is a soft touch right here that's going to hug your skin. That is phenomenal. And then the outside is also soft touch with some texturing going on here. This is very premium feeling rubber, I have to admit. And then let's take a look at the back. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have what looks to be a carbon fiber back. That is so nice. Okay, let's take this off of here. And that's where you have all of your sensors tucked away in there. It tells you right on the back that this is on and off right here. And then it tells you up here that this is menu. So it's kind of interesting they're telling you on the back. There are your four charging pads for your charger. Oh yeah, that magnet is really strong, or those magnets I should say, very strong, really nice. Give it a little tug. Yeah, let's see if it just finds its own way. We'll go ahead and yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. It's got a little seat in there, so it really sort of sits in place. Let's continue around the back here. This is where you have your earbuds on the side there. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's go ahead and hit the power button and see if this thing can turn on. Give us some kind of visual. Whoa! Whoa! That is awesome! Wow, I'm gonna say that this is an AMOLED display. Whoa, that is so crispy, people. Wow, that is 100% an AMOLED display, and I'm not just being a hype beast. That is definitely an AMOLED. The viewing angles are unreal. Colors look so much better in real life than they do even through the camera. The pixel density is looking really solid as well. Wow, that is very cool. Let's see if it has the tap to wake. I'm gonna let it go off. 
No, it does not have any sort of tap to wake as of right now. All right. Oh, so much better than their last UI. That is really nice looking. All right. Oh, oh, very cool. Okay. So you got a little, little menu over here. Okay. All right. Let's do the swipe down. Very nice. This is looking cool. I'm liking this. I like how you have multiple uh, pages up here for your menu. I'll go ahead and swipe up. This is where you're going to get your text messages once I get it set up on my watch. Set up on my phone. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is really nice. I am liking that a lot. Okay. So first impressions on this display. Five out of five stars. That is amazing. Such a beautiful display, so colorful. The blacks are solid black. That is really nice. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the earbuds themselves. Pull them out of here. What? That is awesome. I love how they're green as well. Okay, these are actually a tiny bit bigger, if I'm not mistaken, than the last earbuds that I reviewed, Earbud Watch. Um, they seem to be just a smidge bigger and the drivers right here are definitely large right there. That diameter is really nice. And this has a decent size ear cup to it. So it feels like it's going to really lock into the ear. Of course, I'll be switching this out for the large one because my ears are quite large. All right, let's go ahead and walk around this real quick. I like how there's a little square right there to show you where your fingerprint or your finger is supposed to go. There's your microphone right there. You can obviously see the indicator light right there. And that is basically it. You have your left on there and you have your right over here. Um, really nice looking earbuds. I have to admit they, um, they have this nice uh, sort of two-tone to them. Very glossy, very shiny uh, with a sort of hint of glass right there but yeah definitely have a little bit of a um, tinted glass look which is really nice let's go ahead and take a look at the watch itself so once again when you take out your earbuds you end up with a watch that looks like it's missing uh, half of it so um, this one is doing a better job of kind of like hiding it a little bit so from the top down you're not really going to notice that it's missing uh, a good chunk of it and of course from the side you're going to notice for sure but um, you can see certain angles you're just not going to notice as much but yeah definitely it looks like you're missing some of your watch for sure these can go in any way so you do not have to put the left one up here or the right one down here you can literally just drop them in place okay that went wow that went in really well it really pulled into place which was nice i've had some of these that do not do that they won't pull in um, you'll have to kind of push them in let's see how well we can get them out again there's a little groove right here for your nail to go in Ooh. Very nice. I have to say, this could be the, the easiest way to get earbuds out of a smartwatch that I've ever dealt with. Um, usually, I feel like I'm going to drop them, and I don't even have nails right now. I just trimmed my nails, so this is really proof that they did a good job. There's a little lip on the earbud itself right there that helps out tremendously. Okay, first impressions on the earbuds themselves, I'm blown away. First impressions on the watch itself, definitely blown away. Um, absolutely amazing. The, the band is super, super cushy, super luxurious. Let's see how well it fits on my right wrist. I'm a left wrist wearing person, so this is always a little bit fun to put it on here. Ooh, I didn't even notice. This is a metal clasp right here. That is really nice. All right, I struggled a tiny, tiny bit, but I was actually able to push through and get this thing on the wrist. Oh, that feels so good. That is really, really nice. It's definitely bigger than a Fitbit for sure. That is much bigger, but it feels very solid on the wrist. I like how it's flat across the bottom of it. It's not gonna dig into my wrist, and I have super sensitive wrists, so if any watch goes on that's gonna dig into the wrist, I'll know pretty quickly but there you go that's it on the wrist really nice like the feel of that a lot go ahead and put it into cycling mode we're going to go to sports 
We're gonna scroll down until we see cycling right there. We're gonna start our ride. Okay, there we go. Those are the earbuds right there. I'm pairing them up to my fitness bike. All right, there we go. We're gonna be testing this for latency issues and for how well they handle the sweat because I'm gonna be sweating hard. Okay, let's take a look at the heart rate, 134. Take a look at the screen, 138. That's pretty good, people. That is pretty good. Okay, wow, these things definitely passed the test. They stayed in place, even though I wasn't really doing much, just standing and then sitting and sometimes going back and forth, left to right a little bit. Um, but yeah, I could hear the music. If you're in a loud gym, these will work on a pinch but you're not gonna be able to cancel off the noise around you. And if someone's being loud on the weights or something, you're definitely gonna hear all that clanging and clacking. So you're gonna wanna get some noise canceling for that. Um, but yeah, definitely stayed in place. They're definitely getting quite sweaty. That is for sure. They are definitely going to get all sweaty. Um, but uh, yeah, I was surprised. I thought they might fall out a little bit or something or loosen up, but they didn't loosen up at all. I had to have the volume all the way up on my tablet, which is a little bit higher than my other earbuds, so take note of that. But one solid thumb up, not two, but it's still passed. Okay, let's take a quick look at my cycling ride. Okay, I guess you can't click and expand it. That's, that's a little strange. Um, there you go, 24 minutes. Um, heart rate, whatever that is, calories. So they could definitely improve this a little bit. That's a little bit annoying. I don't actually see my max heart rate or my minimum heart rate. Um, I don't know what 126 times means. Um, that's a little bit annoying. So this is definitely something that they could update for sure. I'm going to be doing a 645 by Beachbody, so I'm going to be kind of moving all over the place. Um, really going to put these things to the test um, in many different ways, and it's really going to tell us how well they actually lock into the ear. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so there we go. We got the calorie burn readout and the heart rate right there. Okay, just finished a great 645 by Beachbody. Um, these things definitely stayed in place. Uh, this ear fell out twice when I was on my back doing sit-up presses. Um, but other than that, they stayed in really solid. Once again, if you're in a loud gym and you're trying to not hear the gym around you, you may want to skip these and go something else. But for at-home workout, when there's no one around you but maybe your kids, great. They do a phenomenal job. And the fact that they're just on your wrist right before you do your workout, that's huge. <laughs> okay, this thing did a great job. You can see your heart rate, you can see your calories, and of course your time lapse. So if you're looking for a bare minimum uh, workout companion, this is the one to go with. Of course, each workout is gonna give you something a little bit different, but that's basically what you get. All right, so this is full brightness right here with the maximum amount of sun you can get. It is the brightest day ever, and you can still read the time. It looks a little bit darker on camera than it does in real life, but this just shows you that even in the sunniest of sunny days, you're gonna be able to look down and get your time get your weather and get all that stuff. Um, but I have seen brighter screens, so this is not gonna be a five out of five star screen. If for brightness, it's gonna be a four out of five stars for brightness. Let's take a look at driving. So while you're driving in a car with your sunroof down and your windows down, you're gonna be able to still check your time real quick, check your notification if that's something you like to do while you're driving. 
I don't recommend it. Um, but yeah, so here you go. You can see even when it's super sunny, shining down on the watch, you can still make out the time and date and all that stuff that you need and keep on uh, driving. Okay, just got these things paired up to my iPod right here. This iPod is loaded up with some high-res files, so we're gonna be putting these earbuds to the listening test. So we're just gonna listen to a wide variety of music uh, from many different genres and really just put these earbuds to the test to see do they actually sound good for listening to music or are they just strictly for podcasts and making phone calls and whatnot. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. These things are insanely loud. I actually had to swap out the ear tip that came with it for one of these bad boys right here off of another pair of earbuds that I have that I know fit my ear perfectly. So with these fully sealing up my ear canal, super locking into place, I'm able to move around all kinds of stuff. And the sound quality is absolutely amazing. They should not sound this good. These things are so tiny. I don't know how and why there is bass coming out of here. I don't know how or why there is good sound quality coming out of here. Not anything super, super premium like Bose or anything like that, but definitely on the level, people. These are going to get you immersed in the music you're listening to. And I have very large ear canals, so I had to throw these large tips on. You may be able to rock out these tips that come with it just fine. Those may seal up your ear canal perfectly and get you immersed. I had my kids in the room with me. They were playing music on their little music makers and yelling and screaming and having fun and I could barely hear them. So these things really did knock out the world around me a little bit. Definitely passed the iPod test very, very loud. The highs, the mids, the lows, the bass, everything is way more than you would expect from earbuds of this size. And the fact that they're sitting on your wrist at all times, that's amazing. Blown away. Five out of five stars for the iPod test. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the dialer. So this thing actually has a dialer on it. You can make phone calls. You can call anyone that has a phone number. I'm just gonna dial 411, 411. Screen is super responsive and awesome. Hit the dialer right down there. It's gonna fire up your phone. The only thing is there's no ability to press anything on here. You have to do it on your phone. Indianapolis, Indiana. Kroger. Hold on. I'm looking up your request. I found a lot of listings for that. What street is it on? You can say, I don't know. Southport. Kroger at 4202 Southeast Street, Southern Plaza Shopping Center. Is that what you were looking for? Yes. Kroger at 4202 Southeast Street, Southern Plaza Shopping Center. Is that what you were looking for? Yes. You can, of course, hit the kill mic right there. Hit the hang up button there. It hangs up there. Goes back to your home screen here. So you can see the microphone down here definitely does its job and picks up your voice, which is really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through this user interface real quick. So if you swipe over, you get to all of your apps and whatnot. Some of these will work, some of these won't work. Some of them do stuff like that. You can swipe to the right to get back to it. You can of course set alarm clocks and stopwatches. You have a calculator on here, which is really cool. So that's awesome, you swipe again, you have game. So you can do like a Tetris style thing, which is actually really cool. I absolutely love this, I play this every once in a while. Swipe again and get back, you have a jigsaw puzzle, which is something. And then you have find your phone, WeChat, uh, you have to actually have these installed on your phone for anything to happen. 
And then you have Sport, which has so much stuff in here. It's pretty amazing. And of course you can check your heart rate. And you have your activities. So all the different activities you've done. You got blood oxygen. Of course, have your steps and you have something called breathe, which is really cool. Help you stay healthy. You got your blood sugar right here. And then you have, of course, sleep. You have your dialer, which we just used previously, call records. Then you have your text messages here. And you have your contacts. The weather is very minimal. I wish that they would figure out a way to make this a little bit better for these things, but nonetheless, that's what you have. You have your Bluetooth music, which you can get to in so many different ways. It's quite wild. And then you have the ability to record your voice. So that's the right panel there. The left panel over here kind of does the same thing. You have quick access to your music and a few things on here. Okay, I want to take a quick second to talk about the side panel over here. So these apps down here actually change. So as you open apps, they're going to change. So let's go ahead and open up the recorder app. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go back. And then there you go. You can see it popped in right there. I'm going to open up the alarm clock. And there you go, the alarm clock popped in. So this is kind of like a multitasking little area right here. Okay, and then when you press this top button up here, you get to the same thing that is on the right swipe. So that's kind of redundant. You swipe down up here and there's not really much going on that you really need to, to, to see if you touch uh, mode selection, it takes you to this again, which you can get to all over the place. It's kind of wild. You have Bluetooth on and off. Then you have your dialer right here. You have this, which is pointless. I don't know why you'd ever want to change your language on the fly. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. And then you have your gear icon, which gets you back to here, which allows you to change um, a few more things. And then you swipe over and you get to something that's really important that should be on the very front card is your brightness right here. You have do not disturb mode, uh, which is also really important. And then you have your ability to change the screen to where it'll shut off sooner or later. And then you have the lock down here and then you have the ability to change it from list mode to a weird um, iWatch sort of clone, which is kind of weird. And then you swipe up and you get to your um, your notifications and you can delete them, but you can't swipe over or do anything with them. You can expand them by touching on them um, and then you can scroll through. As far as I know, you can't delete all of them at once, which a lot of these allow you to do. So it's kind of funny that you can't, you just have to keep tapping and then they're all deleted. So that's how you delete all of your text messages. And that's pretty much it. Then this. This watch face is actually really cool. If you tap the weather icon, you get to the weather. If you tap the music icon, you get to here. And another thing that's kind of cool is if you double tap, you get to this sort of multitasking thing, uh, which you can only get to from the home screen. So it's really interesting how they have this set up. Um, and then you can close them all. The list is empty. So they, they're they're on their way to being uh, somewhat of a more functional use, user interface, but um, yeah, and then of course, if you hold down on here, you can change your watch faces. They give you a decent amount right off the bat, which this one is definitely the best. All right, let's play some music on the loudspeaker, which I'm calling the Bluetooth speaker. If you swipe down from the top, and you hit mode selection, you're gonna click on watch at the top, and then when you press play, the music is gonna shoot out of this part of the watch right here. Then you can swipe up and you can see the whole list. 
then this thing has four gigabytes of storage on the internals so you can store I believe they say around 900 songs on here so that's actually really cool okay so the way to load music onto your watch or take music off your watch is to simply plug your USB port into a Chromebook or a laptop or a desktop PC whatever you have that is a computer and then you may think that this is just a charging cable but it's actually a data transfer cable as well so you're just gonna slap it right on to your watch and then go over to your computer and there you go those are all the songs preloaded all you have to do is simply delete them and there you go that is the drive for the watch you can see it's basically four gigabytes just like they advertised once you're done you can take this off and now you have all of your music loaded up onto the watch ready to go I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full star rating for you guys and let's just start off with the display so this display is truly five stars it does not look terrible even in full sun it's absolutely amazing really bright the colors are really nice um, but the main thing about this is the fact that you have earbuds strapped to your wrist so no matter what throughout the day you don't have to look in your pocket or your purse or your bag or your backpack and try to figure out where your earbuds are they're just right there so if you get a phone call and you want to have a little bit more privacy you can just pull these out put them in your ear and within seconds you're talking with someone on your earbuds absolutely amazing uh, for podcasts truly awesome if you do get these to seal around your ears you're going to be able to hear the bass and the sound quality as it's truly meant to be heard that these earbuds pack a serious punch and i don't even know why um, all the sensors back here definitely do their job some of them are a little bit more um, just to be there and a little bit less to be really paid attention to uh, but i found the heart rate monitor to be accurate and true the step counter also was really true that was awesome uh, the loudspeaker that's built into here is really cool you can literally i was listening to a podcast on my watch on my wrist people it was awesome it was so nice to just be able to like put away stuff in the house and clean up and not have to worry about where my phone is or where my speaker is or where my earbuds are just right here on the wrist ready to go the build quality of this thing is awesome i'm gonna give this thing a solid 4.8 star rating i'm gonna say that this thing is so nice uh it really does a phenomenal job and when you have all of this in one package you really start to look uh, at this thing a little bit differently. You're like, I have to have this on my wrist. I have my earbuds, I have my my watch, I have my loudspeaker, like everything is right here ready to go and it just becomes a part of your life. Uh, not to mention the fact that it's super comfortable on the wrist, which is really cool. So highly, highly, highly recommend it to anyone out there that wants a solid all-in-one device. Buy it. All right, there you go. That's the smartwatch, Bluetooth earbuds, and Bluetooth portable speaker. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.